In a significant development today, a New York judge has delayed the criminal sentencing of former President Donald Trump in the state hush money case. This decision follows Trump's claim that the U.S. Supreme Court's recent presidential immunity decision absolves him. New York Justice Juan Merchant, who presided over the case, ordered the delay until September 18th to allow the court to hear arguments on how the Supreme Court's immunity ruling impacts Trump's state-level convictions. Trump argues that his 34 felony guilty verdicts in New York violate the Supreme Court's ruling and should be dismissed. In a letter to Justice Merchant, Trump's attorney, Todd Blanche, stated, The verdicts in this case violate the presidential immunity doctrine and create grave risks of an executive branch that cannibalizes itself. A Manhattan jury found Trump guilty on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records related to a hush money payment made to a porn star before the 2016 presidential election. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg has agreed to a two-week delay in Trump's sentencing, acknowledging the court's need to consider the immunity argument. Trump's legal team has until July 10th to submit their argument, with Bragg's response due by July 24th. Justice Merchant had originally scheduled sentencing for July 11th, just before Trump's anticipated nomination as the Republican candidate for the 2024 presidential election. The new sentencing date is now set for September 18th, less than two months before Election Day. The Supreme Court recently ruled that former U.S. presidents have absolute criminal immunity for core constitutional powers, but are not immune from prosecution for unofficial acts. This decision has returned the 2020 election interference case to the lower court to determine whether Trump's actions were official or unofficial. Blanche has requested that Justice Merchant set aside Trump's guilty verdicts based on this ruling, arguing that evidence presented in the New York case involved Trump's official acts during his presidency, which should be protected under the Supreme Court decision. The New York case focused on actions Trump took during his first year in office, including an Oval Office meeting to discuss financial transactions with his former attorney, Michael Cohen. Evidence included nine checks signed by Trump, used to repay Cohen for a $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels, which was falsely recorded as legal expenses. As this legal battle continues, we will keep you updated on all developments. I'm Mark Gordon. And this is World Update News. Stay tuned.